Well, developers plan to use Florida's new Live Local Act to turn a South Beach icon into an 18-story tower. They want to turn the Clevelander Hotel into a mix of high-rise living and affordable housing, but critics, including the Miami Beach mayor, see a threat to the city. CBS News Miami's Larry Seward explains. This alley separates the Essex House Hotel on my right from the iconic Clevelander here on my left. A company in Montreal, Canada owns both and as it turns out, no small amount of criticism for what it plans to do with this site. In the South Beach limelight, the Clevelander's future hardly looks bright to Miami Beach Mayor Dan Gelber. Horrible, horrific, terrible, tragic idea. Owners of this 85-year-old hotel plan to use Florida's three-month-old Live Local Act to flip it and the neighboring Essex House into an 18-story development because it will bring dozens of new affordable apartment homes. Plans just submitted to the city call for a tower in the Clevelanders Annex to preserve its Art Deco facade. Developers application includes diagrams to show how it will blend with other beachfront buildings. In a statement emailed to CBS News Miami, the owners say their property's historic structures will be fully preserved. Direct directly address the massive affordable housing crisis and deliver exactly what the mayor and city commission have been trying to do for years and replace some of the ocean hotel and nightlife business with homes. At this 18 story building, it's a slap to the face of our city. Commissioner Alex Fernandez says the move threatens to destroy one of the most photographed areas around. Mayor Gelber agrees. So nobody should feel like these are people who care about us. They don't. They think allowing one tower invites a gold rush of developers who would turn Ocean Drive's two or three story skyline into a string of 30 floor high rises. It's totally out of character with that area on top of the fact that they'll have to use public land owned by the taxpayers of Miami Beach to unify two sites. The owners don't care about our city. They don't live in our city. They don't live in our country. Uh, they invested in a property and they want to extract as much money as they can. Elected officials have little sway because state law allowed the developers to bypass public hearings, but they do need clearance from the city planning department. While the Clevelanders owners sound optimistic, the mayor is not. Frankly, I, I think it would be one of the worst things for our city uh, to lose the postcard of our city, Ocean Drive. In Miami Beach, Larry Seward, CBS News, Miami.